What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best photo editing software for your iDevice. So this is free software, and it's called Photo Editor. It is this icon right here. So, we'll just open it up. So before I started this video, I took a photo of this. See, he's got my controller and stuff in the background. So I've put this stuff in the background on purpose. So, it's pretty simple. Once you open the app up, it will automatically open this folder and then you click camera roll. And then you just select your photo. So there's my photo right there. Then click done. So this is the photo I have took. So first of all you can click enhance. You can put high definition, illuminate or color fix. High definition always looks the best for me. Then you can choose effects. So you can choose how you want it to look. It's got quite a lot of effects. And again these effects are actually free. You can purchase extras but I wouldn't say you need to. So I'll actually edit a photo for you at the same time while I'm doing this. So I'll have Avenue on it, click apply, then frames, you can see, you've got loads of frames again to go through, and it's really up to you what you select. So I'm going to have this, oops, I'm going to have this right here, click apply in the top right after you've done. Then you've got stickers, which you don't really need to worry about because I'll show you. It's really actually photo editing, so you can put stuff on people's faces. So we can go back. Now focus. The one I especially like about this app. Click focus. And we aim it like here. Let's say about there. Everything else in the background goes out of focus. Now you can have it circle. Uh, focus on the circle or a rectangle. So if we just move it up there. You can see the controller it does come out of focus. So if we bring that down. And the way you will see the focus actually working, look at the controller buttons right about here. So it's on focus right now, then we're going to take the focus off. You can see the buttons are now less shown. So we're going to focus it on the controller. Actually we'll focus it with the circle on the controller right here. Then just click apply. Now we will move over to adjust. Now we can change the colour from here. So I'll put it like there. We can change the contrast. So put it about there. You can change the warmth. Make it a bit blue. Make it yellow. So put it there. And then we can change the saturation. And I'll put it about there. So you can really see that the focus is actually kicking in now because you can see the background difference. You can also change the sharpness. I usually have this 100%. I think it makes the photo look much better. You can have splash. You can draw. You can have text. Red eye. Then whiten. Whiten just makes the photo a bit more bright. So if I just scribble over this, it goes a bit more brighter than it actually was before. Then you can just click apply in the top right again. Now you've got blemish. Blemish is another blur. So if we just scrape over the background here, away from the controller, so it focuses really on that controller. Oh. I'm kind of rushing this, but obviously you'll take time with this. So, there you go. More stuff has now been blurred out. And again, you click apply after that. Then you can add memes, which uh, it's up to you if you want it. And that is basically it. Then you click done. And it is saved to your photos and you can see you can copy, print it, Instagram or other apps, mail it, Twitter or airdrop it. So if you click off the app again you go to your photos. If we click this is the original one, then we went to this. So you can see the photo editing is very good. And I'll show you both of the photos on the screen right now. So yes been casual savage here. I hope you have liked the video. Please subscribe, rate and peace.